Greetings, comrades. Tis I, Janet, on Comrade Cajun. Today, Capitalist released new teaser trailer for Total War Warhammer and Sickle. Let us look. This cannot be the end, I fear. The High Priest will receive my word soon enough and darken my door afterwards. When I am cowering in his shadow, I shall need a spark to light the black. Only a glimmer. Only if I am allowed it. A minuscule token of hope. It is the heavens that stole my resolve. It will be the heavens that return it. By the light of Azurios. Is this the answer to my plea? A glimmer of hope? Do we find a salvation in the jaws of the god bearer himself? Oh, Urson, are your people our saviors? Or our end? <laughs> and all this an Geheimnis nach Dieve. Dark times linger around the horizon, I fear, and the Empire must be prepared. Something evil approaches, and it arrives tomorrow. All right, so you might even watch that and be thinking, what the hell, Janet, what are you doing? Um, Kislev is re referenced in that. Uh, we That's pretty stark confirmation that we're going to get them uh, in a larger capacity than we do currently. You know, currently they're in the game as just sort of uh, Empire Light, which is sort of rubbish. Um, but yeah, things are looking very positive for them. And uh, they're basically Warhammer Russia, which is why I did the silly bit at the start, which was totally worth it. And I'm not now a sweaty mess. Um, so that's great. That's always good. So um, yeah, let's get into the trailer bit by bit. And uh, I'll, dis I'll dissect the crap out of it. And uh, I'm going to have some water, though. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have some water, and then I'll dissect it bit by bit. Okay, roll the thing. Hmm. This cannot be the end, I fear. The High Priest will receive my word soon enough and darken my door afterwards. When I am cowering in his shadow, I shall need a spark to light the black. So that's some really interesting language there. So uh, he's talking about the High Priest. Um, so it could be any High Priest, right, of any any church, presumably of Sigma. Um, they tend to be the ones you tell. They're the ones who are most sort of uh, intrinsically linked in sort of the affairs of the Empire. So it makes sense to tell them. Um, also, they're all about rooting out evil. So it makes the most sense. Um, you know, it's the it's the main church in the Empire. And also they're the main church that tend to keep an eye on wizards. So the witch hunters, who I'm sure you guys are all uh, familiar with, they are actually a part of the um, the church of the, was it the, the it's, it's a really roundabout title. It's like the, the cult of the, is like the cult of the Church of Sig Sigma or something. It, it's, it's a bit roundabout, but whatever. It's the cult of Sigma. Um, the Holy Church of the Cult of Sigma, I think it is, that uh, the witch hunters work for. And so it's it's those guys that go around and round up wizards when they've been acting up or, you know, have potentially sort of got a bit too close to chaos, you know, maybe cast a spell and it's gone awry a bit and suddenly they're, they're tainted by it uh, rather than let them be corrupted completely. Any hint of corruption or, frankly, any wizard who's just sort of doing a spell um, somewhere where the colleges aren't really looking after them. Um, any witch hunter is going to go, right, you're dead. So the idea of this wizard saying, you know, he's got to, he's obviously got to break the news that he spotted this because it's a, it's a horrible omen. So he needs something positive or else he's just going to get killed because this is Warhammer and it's grim dark and certain matters when it comes to chaos. Wizards are kind of second class citizens when it comes to breaking, you know, breaking news like that. So um, he's going to want something to sort of uplift, you know, a bit uplifting. Um, so he doesn't get gallowed or burnt or whatever else, just shot, I guess, anything. Um, he wants to keep on the good side. So he wants some hope. And so I think that's really fun. That's a really nice world building. Uh, and it's really nice to see his motivation. The fact that he's not just run off and given us a trailer, <laughs> right? He's not done that yet. No, it's still the teaser. So um, so I like that. I really like that. So I know that's just good storytelling, I think, but it doesn't necessarily tell us anything. But anyway, let's carry on. Only a glimmer. Only if I'm allowed it. A minuscule token of hope. 
It is the heavens that stole my resolve. It will be the heavens that return it. By the light of Azurios. So obviously it'll be the heavens that helps him out because you know, he's, a, he's a celestial wizard, right? It's the law of heavens that he abides by and it's, uh, it's the heavens that tells him, you know, good things. Um, I, I don't think I mentioned it actually earlier on. Uh, they are sort of big into um, sort of telling the future and things. That's sort of their domain, celestial uh, wizards. They're very good at predicting the future, which is why this is more sort of uh, more tangible a threat. You know, he's spotting this stuff and it means something. Um, other wizards maybe wouldn't see the same thing as... Uh, as a celestial wizard. They're very good at perceiving what's to come. So, uh, but one thing that I want to mention is when he says, by the light of Azarius, I actually have no idea what he's referencing there. Um, I know Azir is the, you know, the wind of magic that he that he uses. That's the sort of technical name for it. But the light of Azarius, like, is Azarius a famous wizard or something? I don't actually know. This is actually me doing a plea to you guys if you have any references to that. Because I, yeah, cursory Google, uh, I couldn't find anything. And and frankly, going through all my books would be far too much to trawl through um, for just some like off the cuff remark from some wizard in a teaser trailer. But yeah, if you guys um, can think of anything, let me know. It'd be, uh, yeah, I'm intrigued. Anyway, let's get back to it. Is this the answer to my plea? A glimmer of hope? Do we find a salvation in the jaws of the god bear himself? Oh, Urson, are your people our saviors? <coughs> Major gods of Kislev. Urson. Description. Urson is the father of bears, which the ancient Gospodar held as sacred creatures. He is, unsurprisingly, most usually depicted as a massive cave bear, with a crown, teeth, and claws of glistening gold. It is said that Urson can take human form and will appear as a burly bearded man with an age-worn face, thick hairy arms, and a great mop of hair, the wearing, uh, and wearing nothing but a loincloth. You wear. Um, his symbol? Depictions of a bear or a bear's face are most common, although worshippers of Urson might well also wear a medallion of gold shaped like a bear's claw. Devout followers of Urson wear bearskin cloaks or wear a bear's paw as a talisman. Amongst the northern tribes, it is uncommon. Uh, it is not uncommon for Urson cultists to wear a bear's skull over their helmets or fixed to the front of their shields. So, um, yeah, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, kiss love book um i'd say kislev army book it's kislev white dwarf supplement magazine supplement because i never actually had a official proper army book um, it was always just in the warhammer magazine white dwarf that they got you know um a, a pamphlet in but anyway so there you go kislev kislev properly referenced um you know urson's people is kislev kislev are the only people that worship urson um or at least the you know the only sort of the only people as a culture, if you know what I mean. Sure, there's going to be people who worship all sorts all over the place, but as a culture, that is one of their sort of... Um, uh, that's part of their pantheon, right? Part of their official pantheon. So, yeah, really cool. So Kislev, properly confirmed now, basically. So we're going to get Kislev at some point, um, which still doesn't explain everything. No, it doesn't. Um, because Kislev are famous for being the first thing that chaos sort of batters into um, during any chaos invasion. So is this trying to tell us that they're going to be in Warhammer 3, or is it trying to tell us that we're going to get them as possibly pre-order DLC, maybe? Um, or just soon, you know? Is the is all of this all of these teasers, are they just building up to Kislev being announced, uh, or something else? Thing is, if it is DLC, I imagine it'd be pre-order DLC for Warhammer 3, so I imagine it'd go hand in hand. Um... But who's to say? Who's to say? Um, you guys, I guess. And I guess um, other people soon when we get proper confirmation on all this stuff. But uh, yeah, kiss love. Kiss love. Fantastic. I'm excited. Okay, let's carry on with this. Yes. Or our end. It's total war. So, I mean, anything has the potential to end us. So, could be our end too. So, you know. <laughs> And all this on Geheimnisnacht Eve. Geheimnisnacht Eve is the uh, night before Geheimnisdag. So, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So, Hexenstag and Geheimnisdag mark the only times in the year when both Manslieb and Morslieb are full. 
Before sundown on these days, animals are brought into shelter and folk hurdled in their homes, hanging up charms to ward away evil. Even streets of Altdorf, usually thronging at all hours, are empty from dusk to dawn on Hexensnacht, Witching Night, and Geheimischnacht, Night of Mystery. Um, so, yeah, basically it's um, like Warhammer Halloween-ish. Um, so, uh, Mansley is the uh, beloved of Manan, which is the name of the moon. Um, which is the good moon, the normal moon, like we have a moon, right? Just normal, everyday moon, moon stuff. Um, whereas Morslieb is uh, the uh, beloved of Mor, who is the god of death. So uh, Manan is the god of the sea, so normal moon stuff, right? But god of death, that's because that's the chaos moon. So it's actually the entire moon is bright green, is made out of warp stone, which is the condensed stuff of chaos. It's what magic is made of. Um, it's what chaos is made of. They're one and the same. Though... Um, don't tell the witch hunters. They will have words with you if you um, suggest such a thing. And I'll certainly round up all the wizards. So, uh, yeah, Geheimish Narks is essentially uh, witching night. So the whole thing of, oh, Man Sleep and Morslive are both full. Um, that's the only time it's predictable. So Morslieb tends to be very erratic. Um, it tends to turn up whenever the hell it fancies. Um, there's correlation between that and how evil things are being, um, you know, how strong the winds are. But um, it's sort of, uh, it's. I, I don't think they ever confirm whether it is that there's more magic about because the moon is there or the moon is there because there's more magic about. Either way, there's correlation. And so if Chaos was going to make a move, it would make a move then oh, dark times linger on the horizon i fear and the empire must be prepared something evil approaches and it arrives tomorrow something's coming tomorrow he said it he said it and these teasers have been pretty good at sort of you know saying when something else is going to happen so uh are we going to get yet another teaser that's what i want to know um because they've already hinted at, at, I guess, one potential faction for Warhammer 3. Are they going to hint at another one in another teaser? Or are they going to confirm that this is DLC? Or, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. All we know is that there's one faction uh, for sure, right? Kislev. So that faction is happening to some, you know, degree. Whether it be a DLC, pre-order DLC, a faction in Warhammer 3 um fiddle dd um you know anything could be anything but uh, we know kislev will be a part of it also the four chaos gods i guess but they do reference the chaos gods a lot in other stuff as well um i don't want people to forget that in the in the last um cut scene was if you're playing the vortex campaign um for the lizardman i think it is um mazda mundi's or like bah, 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 slanesh <laughs> or something there are references to the chaos gods in other bits because obviously they're always present right so you know is that just setting the scene for kislev to be like oh yeah kislev are the ones that get battered by chaos so we can't really introduce them without talking about like you know is chaos coming and they'll be there to stand in the way um hence the you know kislev dlc is that it is that it or is that is that it or is that it? I'm not making any sense. I'm still quite hot. So, um, yeah, it, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Because there's something coming tomorrow. Whether it be another teaser or a trailer or, um, I don't know, a, a, a survey, an online survey. Uh, it could be another one of those polls. We've been seeing a lot of those. Maybe CA are doing one of those and wanted to make sure um, it got all eyes on it. I don't know. So, guys, I will see you then. So, comment, like, subscribe, and um, have a good day. Oh, it's so hard, all this. Ugh.